correct preview image is playing with importing local G code and setting LAN printing. This one is actually pretty huge. Now let's go into the Mac. Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. Man, it's been a while. But here we are. This video, I'll be checking out Creality's newest, latest update of their Creality Print version 5.0.3. Let's scratch to this topic. So ever since Creality version 5 came out, for me at least, the same problem that was happening on Creality's version 4 kind of got transferred over to their new version Creality 5.0. When they first announced that, I was really excited for Creality 5.0, but when I first started using it, it was really good. And then the problems that I have with their older version occur in the newest version 5.0. I was a little bit bummed because Creative Print is actually pretty good. Well, not in terms of their software, but the printing quality of the 3D models that are being produced from their slicer is actually really good. I have been trying Creative Print for like past two weeks now. Ever since version 5 came out, I've been using that up until now or as much as I can until the slicer start breaking. Like, can I send print over to my 3D printers? I cannot find the settings that I want. Some settings don't change. You gotta do so many steps and stuff like that. But overall, the printing quality is actually pretty good. And the printing time is like significantly less. I don't know how they do it, but the printing time on Creative Print is actually really nice. I'm here to show you the update of Creative 5.0.3. So let's head over and see what they change or add to their newest latest version. Okay, so here we are on GitHub. Creality print. This version is not yet released. It's still in beta. So as you can see here, it's the version 5.0.2. How do you get the point 3? Well, if you click here, it's not gonna show. You need to come down here, releases, and 5.0.3 is the latest one three days ago. So let's click that. And if you scroll all the way down, you can download this version a Mac or a window. Let's take a look what they added or what they fixed. Okay, so for Windows, their feature, they add the print into first parameters and advanced technology. Right now, I am in Creative Print and the way you find this is it's in quality. You also need to enable events. So you go to quality, scroll all the way down into advanced, while printing order and then outer, and here it is, print infill first. This is the new feature that they added. So I enable that. I'm gonna be using this slider down here. So as you can see here, it's printing the infill first and then it's gonna go with the inner wall and outer wall as I have set it on the right side here. So what does this do? Well, it prints the infill first, but when materials come out of the nozzle, it tend to expand a little bit. What happened is this point right here is gonna expand out a little bit. And then when you are done printing the infill, it goes to the inner wall right here. So when the material expand and it prints here, both of them are gonna be over Lapped. and what happened then you can see the infill through the walls so here's the fully printed 3d cube and if we have the infill first there's a high chance that you will see the infill pattern on your outer wall if you like that you can go with it but for me i would rather just have a really clean wall instead of seeing the infill pattern on my outer wall and yeah based on my experience and many people's experience and lots of form i see out there when they enable this feature, you see the infill pattern on the outer wall of whatever you are printing. So for me, I don't like that. I just want a flat, clean wall. So that is the only feature that they add to this new update. So what they fix, this is actually the most important part of this version. They fix the issue of user feedback. Okay, so it looks like they are listening to us, the users. That installation protocol not displaying in different language. It's not showing many it's not showing in different language, so they fix that. Great. The second thing, there is deviation when clicking on the software with the mouse. Okay, good. So this might be the problem when I click one click print, but it doesn't do that. It only sends the G code to my 3D printers. I don't know, I'm just making it up. Maybe people are having like, if they click here and if they click support painting, it might be like seeing painting or vice versa. Maybe that's the problem, but I don't know. I have not encountered that, but it's good that they fix it. Incorrect system version display on the error report page. Nice. No isolation between domestic and overseas parameters environments. Okay, so they fix something between domestic and overseas environments. 
grade. Adjust the effective position of the cavity temperature command and g-code. So it looks like they adjust where the temperature is in the g-code to make it better I guess. Incorrect preview image display when importing local g-code and setting land printing. This one is actually pretty huge because many of you are saying you don't actually see the preview image when you are setting g-codes from QED print into your 3D printers and you gotta do all these things to fix that. You gotta go into the g-code, fix this line, make it like .png or .jpg something like that. But it looks like they fix it. Hopefully this actually fix all of that problems that people are having. Number seven is CXPRJ file not reading consumable colors. Maybe it's not reading the color. It's just like plain black and white. I don't know. I have not have that problem. Fix some crash issue. Fix UI display and compatibility issue. Nice. Other known issues. Okay, great. Now let's go into the Mac. What they fix? They fix the issue of abnormal data position display after model ranging. Okay, that's good. Fix the issue of abnormal display of temperature collaboration model when the color display type on the previous page is temperature. It's good that they fix that because if you want to set a certain temperature at a certain point and it's not displaying the color or not displaying the number, you will not know that it actually changed or not. So it's good that they fix that now. And hopefully for you Mac user people out there and hopefully that works for you. If you are a Mac user, let me know in the comments down below. Did you encounter this issue and did it fix it? Number three, fix the issue of not displaying personal center and download management entrance. Okay, great. Number four, fix the issue of abnormal loading of model parameters causing the inability to create new model. Nice. And they also fix other known issues. Okay, great. Like I said, if you want to download assets down here, this one is for Mac. This one is for window. Um, they don't have Linux, so I guess bummer. <laughs> it's good that Creality is trying to find all these issues and listen to the people's feedback and actually try to fix it. There are still some issues that was not mentioned here, like the one that I keep encountering. Every single time I hit one click print, it sends a G code to my 3D printers, but it does not start printing. Sometimes it does actually work, but most of the time it doesn't work. And sometimes when I do the one click print, it says that my printer is offline for whatever reason. And then I switched over to Orca Slicer, print, it worked perfectly fine. And then after a while, Creative Print will say that, oh, your 3D printer is printing something. <laughs> but sometimes when it finished, it's like at 99%, it's still printing or something, but it's already finished. And I cannot send a new print to my 3D printer. So I don't know what's going on there, but hopefully those issues will be fixed later in the future. Hopefully it could just be me also. Uh, yeah, anyway, that is the newest and latest update from Creative Print version 5.0.3. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep on 3D printing.